Hello, it is Sunday morning, and that can only mean one thing, car boot sale day. Yeah. So yes, I am off to see them. And the sun has come out, so hopefully more sellers have been encouraged to go. Hopefully there's a decent turnout. Last week wasn't that great. There wasn't that many sellers, but it was a bit drizzly. And yesterday's car boot sale was rubbish. There was only 20 stores. So I'm hoping for big things. Not that I need anything because I have <laughs> a serious backlog of stuff that I haven't listed yet. But never mind, off to the boot sale. Oh well. Could start at the bottom. Start at the bottom. <laughs> Oh, gardening books. Oh, in your brain. In your brain. No, not much. No. <laughs> Those are them little smelly balls. Oh, smelly balls. Pom -pom -pom. <laughs> smelly balls. Oh, yes. There's loads of them. I know. <laughs> so know if people like smelly balls. Maybe. Mm -hmm. What about Piggy? Piggy. How much are these? <laughs> just the little smelly things. They're just 50 pence each of the bag for a pound or you could just take the box if you want. Alright, I'll... Okay. <laughs> I'll take the box for a pound then. <laughs> um, I got a pound. You got a pound. Have you got a change of two? Thank you. <laughs> Box of smelly things. <laughs> Is there anything else I want in there? No. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, the smelly things. May as well. <laughs> 50 pence, man. Yay. See if he's got anything good. Park up. Don't get sub sold for 50 pence. Yeah, Where did you land 50p? Yeah. It's big. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs> Let me just empty that. Yeah. How about a curry deal though? I might get this. Yeah. A good deal on Friday. Yeah. 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 Y
Herschel. Yeah. But yeah. well, Friday I've been selling it to the other lad. I've been, I've been, uh, I've been doing his. One. Have an hour. Make a bit but that the reason I do it to the to the other trader is because I've got all the stuff I've got the stuff for the deer to go and get. So I'm not No for the pen. Oh, it's 50 pence, have a look. See you later, cheers. It's 50p. Out you see. I don't keep passing. Keep it by you. All 50 pence to clear. Oh, good. There's a roof up there, we're going to put some of these address on there. I got a roof it from here. Uh... <laughs> so cute. It's a big six. Do you know it's 6 dollars Yeah. 2 dollars I've got about 10. Oh, well, I've got two then. If you're keeping Yeah, I'm doing mine. Yeah, I got ten. ten. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Let's box. <laughs> I know boxes. How much is your box? Fifty pence. Thank you.
fancy anything? How much is that one? Um, 50 pounds. <laughs> so cute. It's <laughs> a rose ball there. Eh? Oh, a rose ball. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh. Face. <laughs> Perfect, thank you. Get in and I'll come behind. Kale as well. Leeks. Parsley. Oh, yeah. We're all about the veg. <laughs> Rebecca's grown cauliflowers at the minute. <laughs> I'll get some broccoli. Broccoli? Yeah, I'll get a broccoli. Yeah, soy cabbage. 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 I'll get a broccoli and um, a cabbage, please. Do you want a savoy or an ordinary cabbage? Ordinary, please. This is a video of a different. I've got that big pot that I need to fill. Yes. Drop the top off. Good. <laughs> Just screws on. Somewhere. Uh, Don't know where. Oh, there. Oh. Yeah. It should be screwed on. I'm dropping everything now. I've got some Type thing. No, it's got googly eyes. Oh, I thought it was a toy. toy. Massage on your body. <laughs> Thomas, Thomas? No. Well, that's it. That's it, done. Being we've seen, we've bought the bargains. Hello, welcome back to my house. It's actually the next week, so it's Sunday again <laughs> but I just haven't had time to film this haul this week it's as you can imagine being a dog groomer this week being so hot has been the craziest week for everyone wanting to get their dog's hair cut so I'm finally just sitting down to tell you about the things that I bought last week at CM Car Boot Sale so I'm pretty sure I can remember what I paid but you will have just watched the clip so you'll know more than me so the first thing that I picked up was from the lady who I got that hat box and all the frames from the other week who had a mat set out on the floor and everything you could fill a bag for a pound. So this time she had a box full of pomanders, potpourri holder, little ceramic thingies and I asked her how much and she said 50 pence or you can take the whole box for a pound. So obviously I took the whole box for a pound. <laughs> so there was about 25 in there, about 10 of them were just broken and, and horrible so I've thrown those straight out there's a couple that I've picked out which I think might sell separately so I might put them on for about 10 to 15 pounds and I've got about 10 left 10 to 15 left in a box down there which I think I'm just going to lot up um, it's probably not something that I would buy again in the future when you search for ceramic commanders 
on eBay. If you filter the sold results by the highest price sold, the most anyone's ever got for one is about £25 and that's for like a very old hand painted Christmas one. So they usually only get about four or five pounds each. And the next doll was my favourite 50 pence man. So cockled because everything is 50 pence on his stall. Unless it gets towards the end of the day or it's raining and he wants to go home, in which case everything is 10 pence. <laughs> so I think he just gets stuff from the charity shops that hasn't sold. So he just has boxes of stuff and sometimes it still has charity price, charity shop price labels on. So I think that's what he does. So he literally doesn't filter through it. He doesn't care what it is. He just wants to get it gone, which is perfect for me. So we usually tend to get quite a few things from him. This time I picked up this. I picked one of these up the other week, but this is, I think, even better. It's gorgeous. The maker on the bottom is Peter Bossom, Pembrokeshire. And when I searched for him, it says he started doing woodwork after World War II and he set up his own shop in the 70s. So I presume this is probably 80s or 90s, but it's really gorgeous. It's really well made. And I just think it's amazing that the label is still on the bottom after all this time. So I think that'll sell well. There's very rarely any pieces by this guy come up in search. Um, but yeah, nice handcrafted wooden piece for 50 pence. Perfect. Next is this little Leonardo clown. I do like clowns. They tend to sell okay, but it's mainly those French Piero clowns that are the, that are the best sellers. Um, this guy, as it turns out, isn't worth very much. He's a Leonardo circus clown and probably only five to ten pounds. But never mind. The reason I picked him up is because my mum does really well on Leonardo's, but she buys those big ladies. Um, they usually sell you within the week of our list and them for about 25, 30 pounds but I can't be bothered with all those spindly arms. <laughs> so I thought this would be worth more. It's not, it only cost me 50 pence. So it doesn't really matter. Next off that same man, I picked up these really cool mini gilded, I think they're Chinese or Japanese vases. They've got really cute designs. This one's gorgeous with the peacock. I've got four of them. Um, when I Google search them, there's a few people who have them on eBay for, I think, unrealistic prices. Someone has this peacock one on eBay for £40. Um, there's only one really being sold that was about £12, £13, which I think is more realistic for a little vase like that. Um, there's not very many listed at all. So I'm hoping if I put all four of them on together, as a lot at a reasonable price they should get snapped up because it's a nice unusual black colour and people love the oriental and the gilded designs so they are so cute I'll probably pop them on for 35 with best offer on eBay and I'll just pop them on for 35 with free UK shipping on Etsy um, on Etsy I am just doing a little experiment on my new listings I'm just popping the price up a little bit higher than I have got them on eBay but I'm gonna offer free UK shipping just for things that I can fit in a regular Royal Mail four pound second class sign four box. So anything under two kilograms I can fit in a small box. I'm just going to pop as free shipping on Etsy just to compete a little bit more. Um, I've also opened back up my international shipping on small boxes, which I took off last year just because the prices seemed to skyrocket and it was crazy and it was stressful. So I just had UK shipping from then apart from my large letter jewelry. So we'll see if I get any more sales off that. Also off that 50 pence man, I picked up these two um, Dickens David Copperfield books. They're actually French editions. Um, I can't find them, but I didn't look very hard, so I'll try harder. <laughs> they also have these really cute postcards in them, which are from the David Copperfield Museum, which I didn't know existed, but I would like to go to. <laughs> so yeah, they're cute. I don't know whether I put them as a lot or I might just bundle them with the books just to make the books a bit more desirable, make them stand out from others. Um, I'll probably pop the books on for around £20. I think they'll probably do better on Etsy with the international buyers because um, they're a bit unusual. 
So they were 50 pence each, a pound altogether. And I also picked up these other Dickens books, but I didn't realise that I've only got like the first half of both of them. So there was only the first half of Pickwick Papers and the first half of David Copperfield in English, in the English version. Um, these don't sell for very much. They are the, let's have a look, Heron Books editions. Um, so what I do with old books that aren't worth very much but look pretty is I'll get a little stack up, just up to weighing about two kilograms, then I can fit them in a small box. But if you can get a little stack of books that look pretty together, I'll get different sizes, colours that look nice together, you can sell them, usually on Etsy, for about £20. Because people don't care what the story is, they're not going to read them, they just want them to look pretty in their living room or on their library shelf. So if you ever do find old books that look pretty, and they're cheap enough, just pick them up to sell as a stack on the internet. Purely for nostalgia, I shouldn't have bought these because they're not really worth anything, but again, for 50 pence, you live and you learn. So cute. Just because it's my era and I sure I had these Rupert annuals when I was little. Um, this is probably only worth about three, same two or three. I might just, I should still go large letter if I post them together. So I might just pop them on for a fiver and get rid, get my money back anyway. Unless I find some more at the next car boot sale and I can create a little bundle. But even then they're not really worth, they're not really worth doing unfortunately. And lastly, off that man, I believe, I think that was all I got off him, yes, is this. This again isn't worth very much, but I, it just reminded me of like the 90s and I love the design. It's Fiesta, it's a little money box. There's only a couple on eBay, but they're on for about £10, so not a lot of value. I might get a little bit more on Etsy if I can get some nice pictures. Um, so again, not something I would pick up, but 50 pence. Can't go wrong. Right, I forgot to tell you in the box that I got at the start of the boot sale with all of the potpourri ceramic holders, there was this ashtray, which is gorgeous. I don't know if you can see there, the bird design. I don't know what you call it when it's in glass. If it was in jewelry, I would call it reverse carved. I don't know if that's the same term in glass. If you know, let me know. Um, but yeah, it's like carved into the back of the piece but it's gorgeous it's really heavy so i would hope to get around 15 pounds for that and also in that box were these really weird now i saw this and i was like oh it's a pebble then there was this one <laughs> and then there was this one and then it became clear that they are weird bird wooden sculptures um so I did a little Google Lens search to see if anything came up and there was one on a website but it didn't have the price or anything um, but they were listed as Scandinavian wooden abstract modernist birds um, which are really good keywords so if you don't really know what you've got I would really recommend that you get the Google Lens app and even if it can't find the exact thing that you're looking for you usually get some really good keywords that you can use in your listings so modernist abstract Scandinavian are all going to be really great for listing these. Um, now when you search those terms on eBay, you get some really high-end designer glass pieces. Um, but the modernist abstract bird thing tends to be popular. So I can't find these exact ones, I'll have another look. Um, but I'm going to pop them on for £40 just because they're weird. So I'll let you know if they sell and what they sell for because I think that's interesting and it's definitely something I would look out for again because normally I'd walk past these and go they're stupid they don't look like birds <laughs> but people like that the modern ab abstract modernist abstract thing and if they want to pay for it great and lastly in that box there's this calculator it's not something I'd normally buy just because I don't know a lot about them um, but it's like a vintage calculator, it works, 
Texas Instruments TI-30, three lines. <laughs> Focus camera. Um, but these tend to go for, I think it comes out of its little case. Yeah, it does, it comes out. So it's cute that it has its little case. Um, I can't find the exact one, but very similar ones are up for around 20 pounds. So I might just pop it on 20 pounds. I might do free shipping if I'm feeling generous. So that's that. So I got this, the ashtray, the weird birds, and all the pomandas for one pound, which is bargain of the day. And next, I love kitsch animal vases. <laughs> and I couldn't resist this. <laughs> and in the last video I said, stop buying cute animal figurines, but vases are an exception to that rule. And I allow myself to buy them. <laughs> so this is foreign. It's so cute. Little kitsch deers. Oh, I don't know. I would say that's like a 50s design, but maybe slightly later. I'll see if I can find it online. Um, so yeah, I paid 50 pence for that and that's a bargain. I usually get around 15 pounds for things like that. Again, usually on Etsy they'll sell for a little bit more, but I think 15 pounds is realistic. It's really great condition. Got no chips. Oh, how can you resist that? From the car boot sale this week is, you know it, you know I'm gonna buy one, a wooden lacquered box. This is more modern, I think. Kind of sounds a little bit hollow so it's not i'm pretty sure it's wood with the lacquer on but the design is gorgeous it's got the gilding the paint oh it's beautiful it's absolutely stunning 50 pence bargain i should hope to get around 20 pounds for that it's really cool it's beautiful that'll look great on someone's dressing table oh beautiful from the boot sale um it wasn't a very full boot sale there was only about a third of the field and a lot of the regular dealers that i love weren't there i don't know if they were on holiday or they took a week off um so hopefully this week i'll be a bit busier it's supposed to be boiling hot so i expect a lot of stalls um so we'll see how that goes um just another little thing my mom found me a little <laughs> my little pony <laughs> at the car boot sale and i love my little ponies i'm going to keep this i think it's a 2012 i believe and it's got the magnetic feet it's so cute but i just thought i would mention if you didn't know how to do the hair is all i do is if you get some fabric conditioner and put it in a bowl just with some water and i just dunk it in i left this for a couple of hours but you don't have to leave it for that long just give it a little gentle comb out once you've combed it out, you just pop it on a, on a tea towel. If you can get it, the mane over one side, and then I'll just wrap it around the front leg like that. And the tail, same, if you can just brush the tail out, and then I'll just wrap it around that pointy out leg there a couple of times, and then just let that stand on it, on the tea towel, and it'll dry beautifully and silky because you do see them for sale and the hair's just a raggy tatty mess but that'll sort it right out and it just looks beautiful and it just looks so classy if you wanted to sell them on the picture beautiful so you'll get a little bit of a higher price if your pony looks like that rather than if your pony looks like a tatty mess <laughs> so yeah that was just a little tip i picked up from when i was little <laughs> But I'm going to keep her because I do love the pink ponies. I've, I've only got one G1. But I love them so much. So that'll be going on my dressing table. <laughs> I think I think she sells for about £7, by the way. Which isn't a lot, so I don't feel guilty keeping her. Right, so that was it. I hope you enjoyed the car boot sale video. I've got another little charity shop video to do, but I only went to a couple, so I might save that footage and see if I can get to another one this week and add that in together just to make the video a bit more longer a bit more longer oh <laughs> that's not proper English is it 
just to make the video a bit longer. <laughs> so I might do that. We also are going to see him again today at Sunday. So I'm going to head off just now once I've done this. It's, it is boiling hot today. So I think it'll be a busy one. Um, so I'll have a video of that with a little haul. And tomorrow we might go to Whitley Bay to the charity, to the charity shops. Um, they're normally a little bit expensive, but you can get some good stuff. So that's the plan for this week. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please comment as usual. I love to hear from you. My Instagram is in the description if you want to send me a message. My Etsy store link is in the description if there's anything that you wanted from any of these videos that you would like to be home. Apart from my pony, it's mine, hands off. <laughs> Just send me a message. We can work out a deal. Um, so yeah, that's it. I will see you next time. Bye. for them from the car boot sale <gasps> why can't I say that and lastly from the car boot sale <laughs> and lastly from the car boot sale oh I'm sorry <laughs>